Hello! Everybody. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too loud and scary. Hi! Hey, friends! What's up? Um, I'm opening some mystery boosters. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Scary Gary, you're supposed to be scary. Hi Gary, hi Food Time, hi Baltian, what's up? I know, right? Mystery booster hype. Hey Mohammed, I'm glad you could hang out with us. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was able to get a mystery booster box and these are really fun and they're crazy and hey, Toran, what's up? Um, so I played a sealed, a sealed game with the mystery boosters and I thought I'm just going to open the rest of these on stream because that'll be super fun, right? Um, I have, like, oh, Baltian, thank you for the subscription, yay. Okay, let's see how many, um, packs I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, I do have ten. Eight, nine, ten. Baltan, you've subscribed for eight months in a row? Wow, thank you so much. That is really exciting. And I don't even stream that much. Aw, I really appreciate you. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Let's open Mystery Boosters. Let's see what's in here. I'm excited, because I, I don't know most of these cards since I'm newer-ish to Magic. So like every single card is a new card for me. It's really exciting. Here we go, our first pack. I honestly, I don't even know what could be in these packs. Like it's 100% a surprise all around. Okay, here we go. Okay, and I figured out that these packs, it has like cards by color which is kind of strange, right? We're gonna figure this out together, don't worry. Okay, we have an encampment keeper. It's a hound, which is now actually a dog, right? That's a thing. Um, Countless Gears Renegade. I feel like I've seen that card before. Okay, so there's two white. <gasps> I'm gonna open two mana crypts. We'll see, that would be exciting. I know that's a good card. Yeah, doggo! Encampment Keeper. It kind of looks like a mean dog, though. Like, look at that dog. I need my camera to focus on it, because it's a scary dog. Look at that. Red eyes and everything. Wow. Um, The collation includes by color. Okay, yeah, I've learned that. So I don't really know how to set these out. I'll just set them by color. I don't know. It's a puppy. Oh, that was just a puppy? Whoa. 10 out of 10 would play. Yeah, I mean, oh, it has first strike. That's pretty nice. Seven and a white. Tap it, sacrifice it. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Honestly, that's not great. I don't know if I would play that. I'm just going to be honest. Sorry, dog. Okay, we have a mer merfolk looter. Okay, that's okay, except I except that I hate merfolk, so sorry. A wall of frost. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, ooh, a dusk charger. Look at that horse. Serious business. I really don't know how to stack these. I guess I'll just do uncommons, commons, rares, and mythics. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, Dust Charger is a common. Flesh to Dust? What is it? It John Wicks your battlefield when Doggo dies. <laughs> it does, it really does. Um, Keldon Overseer. Okay. Um, Undo Champion? 
Oh, it's a it's a minotaur. Okay. Um, Aura Narlid. Am I saying that right? Yeah, I think I am. Aura Narlid. It's a beast. So sure. Uh, a stoic builder. Very serious business. Okay, and then we have like multicolor cards. Oh, he's nice and popper. Oh, I see. This is my first pack. You haven't missed anything yet. Um, Goblin Death Raiders. Okay. That's aggressive, but I like it. Trample. Nice. Field of Ruin. I feel like I've seen that before. Death Raiders is such a good name. It really is. I totally agree. I've definitely seen Field of Rome before. Um, sac sacrifice it, destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. Each opponent searches their library for a basic land card. I mean, I guess I can see the value in that, but I don't know. Like, I don't love it. Crewfix God of Horizons? What? Check that out. Come on, camera, focus. There it goes. Ooh, that's cool. And it's a mythic. It's probably pretty good, right? But it's a it's a green blue card, so I personally kind of hate it. Sorry, everyone. Just kidding. It's cool. I've I've heard a lot of people talk about Crufix, so it must be good, right? Must be good. Okay, we have a Phyrexian Plague Lord. Okay. I like this one. Um, tap it and sacrifice it. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Or I can sacrifice another creature and target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. All right, that's okay. And is this a joke? We got a foil storm crow. Oh my gosh. I have been trolled so hard right now. OMG. I got a foil storm crow. This is so great. <laughs> ah! ah! Yeah, the whole pack has to go just in the trash, honestly. We're going to set this one aside because it's really special. Really special. I got trolled though, so hard. A foil storm crow, seriously? Thanks wizards. Okay, let's get into our second pack. It's a one, two flyer for two, yeah. Uh, value, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm still, I, I still cannot evaluate cards well, so maybe you're right, maybe it is a good card. Um, okay, new pack. We've got an Adanto Vanguard. Love this guy. Love it. So great. Vampire. Uh, Righteous Cause. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Sticking in a binder. Yeah. Um, okay. Cartouche of Knowledge. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, it's an aura cartouche. What is that? I've never even heard of that. That's really weird. Enchant creature you control. When cartouche of knowledge enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has flying. Oh, I'm right. I'm saying it right. Yay. Hey, Colin. What's up? Um... You mean you don't wear a cartouche every day? No, I don't. I've never even heard of it. Am I ignorant? Probably. Is it bougie? Oh, I'm missing out. I am kind of... I try to be bougie, um, but no, I'm not. Uh, okay, we also have a mnemonic wall. That's a blue wall, so we automatically hate it. Grotesque mutation. Look at this art! It's nasty. It's real nasty. It's like a mouth and a hand. 
I hate it. I really do. Um, Rite of the Serpent. Okay. Whatever. A Boggart Brute. This must have been reprinted recently because I feel like I've seen this card. Um, wait until I see Amon Ket block in action. Oh, are there weird cards there? You only know about cartouches from Magic and maybe the Brendan Fraser classic, The Mummy? Okay, um, I've never seen that movie. So, don't judge me because I don't watch movies. So, I mean, I've, I've obviously heard of it, but I've never seen it. Uh, we have Brute Strength. Charging Rhino. <laughs> You're wearing a car t-shirt now. Okay, I, I'll take your word for it. Um, Ranger's Guile. All right. Selesnia Guild Mage. Okay, but honestly, isn't Selesnia like the goody goodies of all goody goodies? I can't really get into Selesnia. I'm sorry. My cat's, my cat's EDH deck is Selesnia though, so... There's that. Ash Barons. Okay. <gasps> Dragon Brood Mother. Ooh. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This is a 4 4 dragon. Um, two red, 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 green. Wow, that's kind of a difficult casting cost. Flying. At the beginning of each upkeep, put a 1 1 red and green dragon creature token with flying and devour two into play. As the token comes into play, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. It comes into play with twice that many 1-1 one, one counters on it. Oh, neat. That's pretty cool. I like dragons. I maybe one day might try to build a dragon deck. Um, we have Kiki Jiki, Mirror Breaker. Wow, this is another mythic. What is going on? Oh, Ash Barons is good. I guess because it has that cycling thing, right? Yeah. Um, Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker has haste. It costs two red, red, red. I, yeah, you can tap it. Put a token that's a copy of target non-legendary creature you control onto the battlefield. That token has haste. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. That's pretty nice. Huh. Wow. I like that. Interesting. It's a goblin shaman. That's cool. We are we really are getting the mythics here. And we have Harmonic Sliver. Okay, slivers are a thing. Um all slivers have when this creature comes into play, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Nice! And this is our foil. That's pretty cool. I like it. I am gonna pull the crypt. Okay, we'll see. I hope so. That would be really fun. Um I heard it was pretty good. I don't remember what it does. Kiki has an infinite combo piece in many ways. Ooh. Oh, you can infinite combo it some, somehow with the token copy thing. Interesting. It's better than a crow. Yes, I agree. It is better than a crow. Okay, we're on our third pack. Okay. Um, Wake the Reflections. Sure. Core Skyfisher. All right. Archaeomancer. That's fine. I feel like I've seen that card somewhere. I wonder if it's in um, one of the newer commander decks or something. I don't know. Um, Artificer's Assistant. You love the Archaeomancer art? Yeah, it's actually really good. I like it too. Look at this bird. Look at this sweet bird. Look at this sweet, adorable bird. Oh, this little bird is holding something in its mouth. It's got like a little tool in its mouth. Aw. I love it. I wouldn't play it, but I love it. Uh, Fen Holler. Okay. Interesting. Yargle. Now, I've seen Yargle before. Yargle is... Um, Ah, uh, the bird stole a spoon. Is that what it had in its mouth? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Yargle is a thing, right? Frog spirit. I mean, it's not a great card. 
Because it's a 9-3. Like, it can die pretty easily. It doesn't even have trample. It should. It would be really good if it had trample, right? Oh, Yargle. Strike, strike a bargle with, <laughs> with Yargle. It's a meme card? Is it really? Wow. Um, okay, Browbeat. Falcon Wrath Reaver. Oh, Yargle is a combo piece with, oh, a first strike card? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Give it a, give it first strike somehow. Or double strike. Yeah. Do it. Um, no, just kidding. Okay. Well, that's okay. Um, Elephant Guide. Sure. Mantle of Webs. Okay. Boros Challenger. Ugh. Really? I have, I have like a million of these cards. Come on. Um, it combos, it combos with the chaff file. Wow. Real talk right now. Um, Bomat Bizarre Barge. Okay, vehicles are scary. V vehicles, I, I refuse to play them because they're terrifying. I don't know how they work. I don't understand it. And honestly, I don't want to. So that's all there is to it. That's trash. Um, we have a Doom Gape. That looks terrifying. Honestly, like super scary. It's a 10-10. What? It has trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Whoa. Okay. That's, not, that's like fun. That's, that seems like weird jank fun. You're going to make a vehicle deck now? I don't care if you play vehicles. I'm just not going to. Because they're scary. Wait till Pixie sees Kaladesh block on arena. Oh, I know. Kaladesh, there's so many vehicles, right? No, it's it, it's scary. I can't do it. Ooh, Bird of Paradise. Oh, this is a good card. Everybody loves Bird of Paradise, right? It's in like every green EDH deck that ever existed. Focus. Focus. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, this is a good one. Even a scrub like me knows that. I'm so smart. Honestly, so smart. Okay, and we have a Grand Architect. This is our foil. Let's see. Um, <laughs> okay, it says other blue creatures you control get plus one, plus one. You can pay a blue. Target artifact creature becomes blue until end of turn. Ew. Tap an untapped blue creature you control. Add two colorless to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities or artifact. Okay, this is this is a this is gross and bad. Let's be real. It's not good. Bolt what? Bolt the bird? People say that, right? That's the thing people say. Oh, this is a staple in artifact decks? Oh. Alright. Well, um, here's another fun fact. I don't play artifacts. They're also scary. I don't know why. I just can't do it. It's like too much going on. I'm not a good magic player. So never forget. They say bolt the Bomat Bizarre Arch. <laughs> Shut up, Efren. Shut up. Oh, I can't play Soul Ring. It's an artifact. Okay, so... Actually, and I play Witch's Oven too. Okay, I play artifacts once in a while, but I can't play a whole artifacts deck because they're scary. It makes sense. Just accept it, everyone. Just, just, it doesn't make sense, but just accept it. Okay, our next pack, Angel of Renewal. Oh, a beautiful angel. It's, it's lovely. Um, a Sparring Mummy. Okay, that's, that's a thing. Go, mummy, go. Um, archetype of imagination. Wow. That looks cool, but it's blue, so I can't really think about it very much. Who plays artifact decks anyway? Definitely not you, Toran. Definitely not. Obviously. Shh. 
Okay, Crush Descent. This is a counter spell, so it's it's absolute trash. A Dusk Legion Zealot. This is a vampire, so it's not trash. And it draws you a card. Boo yeah. Merciless Resolve. This is not a trash card because it has Soren on it. Look at that. Hey, Soren. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, there, there, there he is. Hey, buddy. What's up? He's our friend. Um, Zada's Command. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Just accept it. It's true. Uh, oh, try to play a Jora deck. Oh, but... It has artifacts, though, so it's scary. You thought he was shirtless? You thought those were his muscles? It's his armor. It's his armor. Okay, Zada's Commando. It's a goblin thing. Inferno Fist. Elves of Deep Shadow. Ooh, that looks, wow, awesome. Eternal Witness! I think people like this card, right? If I remember correctly. Why is my camera being such a piece of trash? Focus! I'm, I'm not going to remove it until it chooses to focus. Okay. We're just waiting. We're just waiting. We're just... <laughs> so upset right now I, okay I tried I have to remove it because we can't move on wow Whoa. okay we got an eternal witness I think this is really good though right move the edge of the card to the center of the frame it's really difficult <gasps> okay there we go it's working <laughs> thank you thanks Roz Okay, this is a good card, everyone. I deemed it to be so. Not because I've heard that it's a good card. I, I, I don't even know what it does, honestly. When Eternal Witness enters the battlefield, you may return to her card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, that is pretty good. I like it. Um, okay, Abzan Guide. I like Abzan. Ghost Quarter. That's a land. Oh, put it in my cat's deck. Ooh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Baltan. Violent ultimatum. Okay, so ultimatums were a thing before ultimatums? I didn't know that. This is an old ultimatum, so apparently it's a thing. Violent ultimatum. This is Jund. Black, black, red, 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 green, green. Destroy three target permanents. Yes, you are. Yes, Corvold. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Corvold. I love it. Destroy three target permanents. That's amazing. <gasps> oh, I got Marin. Look at these packs are so good. Ephraim, don't you have a Marin deck? Marin of Clan Nell Toth. Whoa! What does Marin do? Whenever another creature you control dies, you get an experience counter. Oh, I remember you playing this against me. At the beginning of your end step, choose target creature card in your graveyard. If, that's car if that card's converted mana cost is less than or equal to the number of experience counters you have, return to the battlefield. Otherwise, put in your hand? Yes! This is going in, this is going in my Corval deck, too. I've got, up I've got updates to make. To my Corvold. Ooh, I love it. Oh, yeah, she she is hot. Yes. She's on fire. This is a joke. I got another foil storm crow. Honestly, like you give me Marin and then you give me this. I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Okay, we're opening. That was such a good pack, and then we get a foil storm crow. Wizards, why? Why? Okay, we're moving on because we're so angry right now. Everybody, we're livid. 
so livid. I know, right? Everybody's mad. I am too. What is that card in the foil slot? It's a freaking storm crow. I really have got, yes, I've gotten four mythics. I haven't opened six packs yet. I've opened one, two, three. I have five left and one in my hand. So that was four packs. Four mythics in four packs is what I've gotten. Woo. Yeah, too many crows. Too many crows. Okay. Call her the culprit. Yep. Um, Oreskos Swiftclaw. Sometimes I have a hard time pronouncing these cards. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Um, Jawar Isle Avenger. Is the J silent? I don't know. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Um, Slipstream Eel. Okay. Whatever. A oh, oh, every pack has a mythic? Is it supposed to? Two foil storm crows is without a doubt the worst thing that's happened in 2020. Ah! No, it's not. Unfortunately. Two I got two foil storm crows. It's a it's a joke. I'm being joked so hard. Joke. Um e even cars justice. Uh I do not think that you're that you're guaranteed a mythic in every pack because one pack I got two mythics, so that means one pack I didn't get a mythic at all. So it, I I believe that it is not guaranteed. You mean best thing? No, no, the worst thing. Shambling attendance. Okay. Lightning javelin. That seems mean. Blazing volley. Deals one damage to each creature your opponents control. All right. In interesting. Fertile ground. Um, that art's really kind of pretty, but okay. Yavi Maya Sapherd. I remember this card. I've seen it before. How did he shoot so many arrows at once? It makes no sense. That honestly is such a valid question. Because, like, okay, look at the art. We're going to try this again. They must be coming from behind him. Honestly, I feel like every single one of those is coming from behind him, and he just was lucky that he didn't get hit. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Or or magic, I guess. Um, Yeah, hammer dropper. Hey, this is new. Yeah, there are other archers behind, yeah. Uh, Peace Strider? Okay, interesting. Tower of Eons. Whoa, look at this! It's an artifact, which I'm scared of. Um, it costs four. You can pay eight and tap it, you gain ten life. Whoa, that's neat. I don't know if it's good, but it's neat, right? Hornet Nest, what's this? Creature Insect Defender. Whenever a Hornet Nest is dealt damage, put that many 1-1 one, one green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch on the battlefield. Oh, cool. <coughs> Sorry. That's interesting. And a Triskelion? Artifact Creature Construct. Enters the battlefield with three 1-1 one, one counters on it. Remove a counter. It deals one damage to target creature or player. Okay. Interesting. Wait, what? Why did you say wow? Why did you say dang? Is it good? Is it? Oh, is it? Is it really good in EDH? I mean, I guess it is. Whenever it's dealt damage, you put that many creatures with death touch and flying. That is pretty good. That's decent. <coughs> Um, oh, you like, you like this one too? Triskelion? Yeah. Who wants to attack into that? Good point. Good point. Okay, we're moving on. You don't like me having access to so many good commander cards? Well, the thing is, I don't know what's good and what's not. So you don't really have to worry. Oh, Trike is an infinite combo? Oh. 
if you can put, I guess if you can put more counters on it. Interesting. Okay, our next pack. Star Crown Stag. All right, I remember this guy. Grasp of the Hyromancer. Okay. Borrowing 10,000 arrows? Is this a joke? Why is this card named borrow? I'm sorry, not 10,000, 100,000. Borrowing 100,000 arrows. Draw a card for each tapped creature target opponent controls. That is weird. <laughs> we know what happened to those arrows. It's true. It's true. That, that, that's weird. Uh, River Darter. That's kind of cute. Can't be blocked by dinosaurs. Three kingdom set. Oh, interesting. Um, Dread Drone. All right. Bone Splinters. Hey, that's new. Ish. Shatter. Okay. Um, Reckless Worm. All right. Ivy Lane Denizen. Never heard of it. Roar of the Worm. Do you think that worms roar? Create a 6-6 six, six green worm creature token and it has flashback. Huh. Interesting. Well, we got enough arrows to last us for a while. Wait, what's that guy doing? What are you talking about? Efren. You don't talk about that merfolk? Oh, Baltan. Because you love the dinosaurs, right? It's true. Um, okay. I'm going to try to say this. Gelectrode. 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 Did I say it right? Gelectrode. Gelectrode? I'm trying. I'm trying. It's a weird. That's funny. Call the Scions. Okay, I won't because this color's this card has devoid and I'm scared of it. Um, mist form streaker. All right, that's a little weird. It's got morph. People like morph, right? And it has this old border. People like the old border too. Not me. Just saying. Savage Knuckle Blade. Whoa! Look at that. Um, yeah. I, that guy looks mean and angry. Kind of intense. Wow. And. Whoa, another Grand Architect. There we go. Guess who's building an artifacts deck? Not me. Definitely not me. Okay, we're opening our next pack. Here we go. It's happening. Okay, I have this one, and then I have three more. We're getting down to it. We're going to get the Mana Crypt. It's going to happen. <coughs> I'm talking so much that my throat is getting really dry. Okay, here we go. Hitting on an old border. <laughs> you have to reevaluate things. Don't don't judge me, Baltan. I'm a noob. We have a Nyx Fleece Ram. A glaring Aegeus. Auger of Bolus. A laboratory brute. Um, Okibi Gang Shinobi. Ooh. Oh, it's a rat ninja. Okay, <gasps> could this go in my red stack? Is it possible? Is it is it good or is it bad? It has ninjutsu. Three and a skull. 
Return an unblocked attacker you control to hand. Put this card onto the battlefield from your hand, tapped and attacking. Whoa! Whenever Okiba Gang Shinobi deals combat damage to a player, that player discards two cards. I like it. Oh, it's better in a ninja deck? Okay. So maybe not good for my rats deck. It's kind of cool, though. Defeat. A blood mad vampire. I like that one because it's a vampire. And I love vampires. Um, leopard spotted jow. I'm trying. I'm trying. Bounce your under the battlefield rats. Yes. Yeah, I could do it. It could happen. Uh, bitter blade warrior. All right. Search for tomorrow. Sure. Ooh, a Baleful Strix. I think people like this card, right? Uh, so 1-1 one, one for a blue and a black artifact creature. Oh, it's an artifact. Oh, it's not good. It's an artifact. <laughs> it has Flying and Death Touch. When Baleful Strix enters the battlefield, draw a card. This is actually a really good card, right? Um, also, this is my favorite artist. Nils Hom is my favorite artist. My favorite Magic the Gathering artist. Yeah, this is a pretty good card. It's too bad I don't play blue, you know, because I just, I refuse to. It's just awful. It's awful. This card's good, though. Sometimes I do play blue, like when I'm drafting or something, and I have to. Um, Ornithopter. It's pronounced ham. Nils ham. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was ham. I apologize. Ristic study. People talk about this a lot. Is this a good card? Two and a blue enchantment. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, you may draw a card unless that player pays one. <laughs> Everybody talks about, did you pay the one? And it's this card, right? It's this card. Ristic study. This is the card everyone's talking about. Focus now. Focus. There it goes. Oh, wow. This art is amazing. Yeah, this is, this is a common? Wow. Play blue, but make that be the only blue card in the deck. Okay, I'll think about it. Cool, we're going to set this one aside. Um, okay, we have Nin, the pain artist. Okay, it's kind of mean. You know, you're called the pain artist. Um, okay, it deals X damage to our creature. That creature's controller draws X cards. Interesting. Kind of like it. Nine Inch Nails, the paint artist. <laughs> Blue is the best! What? Oh, I cannot agree with that. Sorry, Dr. Shandor. Can't agree. And we have Isamaru, Hound of Conda. Except it's a hound and it's a dog now. Look at this. This is our foil. Ristic Studies is a $25 card? And it's a common? Dang. This one looks really cool. Why is this legendary? I guess because it's a two, two for one? Oh, this was just reprinted in Jumpstart. I haven't seen that. Or wait, what was reprinted in Jumpstart? The dog or Ristic Study? Yeah, two, two for one, I suppose. That's pretty good. People might start making dog decks now. Possibly. Okay, that was nice. Oh, the dog was reprinted. Okay, well, this one's foil, so there's that. Yeah, okay, let's open our next pack. We have one and two more. Imagine if you could go turn one, two, two, turn two, two more two twos. Yeah, it, it, would, be, it would be nice. 
real nice. It's from Kawagama, which is full of legendary creatures. Oh, cool. Very cool. You're tempted to make a Ren and Stimpy deck? Yeah, you want to make a dog and a cat deck for sure. I think everyone's tempted to do that right now. Okay, our next pack, Passivism. Sure, we've seen that recently. Light form. Okay. Wait a second. Nope, that's right. Um, Jace's Phantasm. Jace's what? All right, whatever, Jace. Capture Spear. I said Spear, but I meant to say Sphere. A dog, cat, bird, rat, EDH game when? Yes, for sure. I have rats. Oh, it's, it's Toto means dog in French. Ha, cute. It is a Pokeball. Um, Alters Reap. That's kind of cool. Sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. I like that. Um, Corpse Hatch. Okay. Hijack. All right. Sure, 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 sure. Cobble Brute. Bird Tribal. Jace is basically just Job from Arrested Development with a blue cloak. It's true. It's so true. Yes, you you mean you mean gob. I love it. Bird tribal with the storm crows. You need all of these storm crows that I've been getting. Um, Izuri's archer. Izuri's yeah, I think I said that right. Izuri's archers. Whatever. Creeping mold. Mold is bad. A shrewd hatchling. Whoa, look at that thing. Come on. Look, it's like a snake, but it's actually an elemental. So, okay. Lightning Greaves. Oh, everybody loves Lightning Greaves. I've got several of these from some of my EDH pre-cons, but you can't have too many, right? Great card to have. Release the ants. Yes, it is a staple in EDH. Totally agree. Um, this is weird. I, I want to read what this does. Instant. Release the ants deals one damage to target creature or player. Clash with an opponent. What? If you win, return release the ants to its owner's hand. What? Each clashing player reveals the top card of his or her library, then puts that card on the top or bottom. A player wins if his or her card had a higher converted mana cost. What? What is that? It's so weird. And this art is like creepy. Also, so creepy. Um, oh, you're wearing greaves right now. They match your cartouche. Imagine Stormcrow with the boots. Oh my gosh, it's OP. It's so OP. Basilisk Collar. Equipped creature has death, touch, and lifelink. Oh, okay. Cool. And Wall of Shards. Defender, flying, cumulative upkeep. An opponent gains one life. At the beginning of your upkeep, put an age counter on this permanent and sacrifice it unless you pay its upkeep cost for each age counter on it. What? Okay, that's our foil. It's a little strange. I don't understand it, but sure. Um, it's a game within a game. It's yeah, it it really is. It's kind of strange, but sure. I'm kind of glad they don't do that anymore. Gonna be honest. Going to be honest. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, our next pack. This is our second to last pack. Mana Crypt, where are you? Um, unwavering, unwavering Initiate. Feet of Resistance. Uh, Amphen Pathmage. Okay. Salamander Wizard. Interesting. Sailor of Means. All right. 
cower in fear. Aw, they're scared. Reckless imp. Okay, when can we have like an imp tribal? Because I really like the imps. They're cute. I want imps to be a thing. I really do. Oh, can't reckless imp can't block. I thought it said can't be blocked. That's not as good. Just saying. Cathartic reunion. Whoa. Crowd's favor. Desert Twister. Destroy target permanent for four green green. Wow, it's kind of expensive. But I guess it can destroy anything. Mm, whatever. Territorial Bailoff. Okay, looks mean. Hypothesis. Seen that one recently. Whisper Silk Cloak. Can't be blocked and has shroud. Ooh, that's pretty nice. It's kind of like the boots. Sort of. Chatter of the squirrel? What? Oh, this is a good EDH card? Yes, I imagine that it is. Um, sorcery. Put a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token into play with flashback. I love it. So cute. <laughs> Revel in Riches. Okay, that's pretty good, right? Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game. Nice. Yeah, I want more squirrels, right? Squirrels need to be a thing too. And Viscera Seer. Ooh, it's a vampire. Sacrifice a creature, scry one. That's pretty nice. It's our foil. I like it. Corvold, what's good for Corvold? Revel and Riches? Maybe. Foil Seer, oh, is this a good card? I like it. It's pretty cool. <coughs> I am so sorry, like I'm actually losing my voice. I stay home all the time now, so I don't talk this much anymore. Okay, our last pack. Oh, you all are really liking the, the Viscera Seer, aren't you? It's a good card. Where are the crows, though? Well, we got two, so... I mean... It's more than enough. More than enough. Seer is top tier. Oh, okay. Awesome. I'll put that in one of my EDH decks, then. Okay, last pack. So, here we go. It's a great sack outlet. Ah, yes, good point. Mana Crypt, come on, come on. Fiend Hunter is our first card. A Soul Mender. Tandem Lookout. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll put it in Corvold. A Cloudkin Seer. I've seen this recently. Crippling Blight. That's pretty nice. A Revenant. Ooh, that's a spirit. Um, power and toughness equal the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Okay, that could be cool. A fling! I love fling. Anyone who's watched my, who watched my last early access event knows I love fling. Um, Balduvian Horde. I tried to say it. I tried. Lay of the Land, Ren's Run Vanquisher, ooh, that looks really cool. Come on, 
There it goes. There it goes. She's an elf. Ooh, with death touch. Wait a second. That's a common. That's an uncommon. Naya charm. Okay, well, I don't play Naya. Temple of the False God. This is in like every EDH pre-con. Contagion Clasp. What's up with that? It's an artifact, so it's scary. Mizix's Mastery? What? Sorcery Exile Target card that's an instant of sorcery from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way, copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Exile Mizix's Mastery. And it has Overload. Whoa. Okay, interesting. And our last card is Braid of Fire Foil. So we didn't get a Mana Crypt. Okay, but what does Braid of Fire do? It's an enchantment. Cumulative Upkeep. Okay, I don't understand Cumulative Upkeep. Add a red to your mana pool. At the beginning of your upkeep, put an age counter on this permanent. Then sacrifice it unless you pay its upkeep cost. What? For each age counter on it. What's its upkeep cost? I don't know what that means. I really don't. Okay, so our, our four mythics are the only mythics we got. Definitely not a mythic in every pack. That would have been nice. Nice. But we really did. Up. Oh, okay. Upkeep, add red to your mana pool. Add red for each counter on it. You add a counter every turn. Put an age counter on this permanent, then sacrifice it unless you pay its upkeep cost. But, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. You had money riding on the crypt. Uh, yeah. You lost that one. We did get a Marin. We got a Kiki Jiki, Dragon Brood Mother, and a Crufix. So we got some really good mythics. And um, never forget two foil Storm Crows. Like, these are priceless. Honestly. We will keep these forever. Forever. And we got a Rhystic Study. So I feel like we definitely had good pulls. We didn't get a Mana Crypt, but we had some really, really good pulls. For sure. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone for hanging out with me while I opened some packs. I'm going to end my stream here. And hope that you all have a very lovely night. Oh yeah, Bird of Paradise too. Um, yeah, so next week, hopefully, I will be streaming the Arena Early Access event next Wednesday. I signed up for it. I haven't gotten confirmation that I'm in it yet, but hopefully I will be. So I'll be streaming right here next Wednesday. So plan on stopping by and saying hi then, too. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you all later. Thanks for hanging, everyone. Bye.